Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we finished up exploring all the new systems that have opened up to us. I went through and double checked. We have explored every single system available, which means we just have a couple of things to hand in on the Citadel. Now, we only have two. We only have two things, so I, I want to get to the next main quest as soon as possible. So I'm just going to prioritize going to the two locations we need to go, and then we're out. We're going. We're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? No, I do not. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. The first place we have to go is the docks. To, I believe it was you. Yes. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with uh, any operation we have going. Yes, any operations. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. No worries. I hope they were helpful. Sergeant, I have a little brother. Yeah, well, you don't you have to worry about that no more. You can go fight the Reapers. It's all Reap. Naomi doesn't like Cerberus, but I do think she'd understand. A, she has a sibling there. The other one was the Commons, I do believe. He was hanging out by where um, Balavon used to be. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Yeah, I think it was you. There we go. I recovered the Book of Plenix. Mm. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Mm. Earth Clan. This is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. No worries. Thank you, Earth Clan. My people are still afraid, but they are remembering who they are. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm glad that helped out. And I'm not I'm not gonna bother exploring the whole citadel we did that just recently One moment, please. i want to get to the next main quest it's the perseus veil it's dealing with the geth and the quarian so i'm just like tali tali i know that tali comes back as a companion in each game so if she were gonna be anywhere surely it would be here yes Anything new? Commander. Okay, good stuff. Let's go. Let's just go straight there. Let's go. Over to the far rim. Okay, now is this the only system? Oh, it is not. There's my art. <laughs> okay, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. Okay. Oh, flipping heck, you look angry. <laughs> you don't look so good. Okay. The, I'm, mm, I'm a bit nervous about being here. That does not look healthy. I don't think the star is supposed to look like that. Oh, hey, Strum, hello. Formerly a Quarian colony, Haystrom was established to observe the phenomena on Dolan, the planet's parent star, or the system's parent star. Dolan appeared to be unstable with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant. Well, it's, it's looking pretty red and giant right now. Haystrom was lost to the Geth in 1896 CE. Soon after, all communication from the planet and its attendant space station ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries, beyond establishing several space stations near it. Dolan's magnetic eruptions and solar output overwhelm most nearby communications, and it is unclear how the Geth have compensated. Today, spy probe scans indicate extensive orbital construction around Haystrom, housing thousands of Geth platforms and an unknown number of Geth software mines. It is not known how many Geth are on the planet's surface. Spy probes face interference from Dolan, making remote scanning difficult. 
Resource estimations based on geth mining, refining and fabrication practices suggest that the planet has at least 20 more years of use before it is exhausted. Intelligence experts speculate that the geth have not exploited all of their resources because they wish to keep some in reserve for repairs. Travel advisory. Haystrom is a geth stronghold. Military spy drones using cutting-edge stealth technology are the only vehicles to have returned from Geth space unharmed. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Orbital distance, 6.3 AU. Orbital period, 15.8 Earth years. Radius, 6,721 kilometers. Day length, 18.5 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, 0.0 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, 44 Celsius. Surface gravity, 1.2 G. And who are you? Charum. Once a starship refueling station for the Porians, Charum has expanded under Geth rule. Thousands of orbital platforms surround the planet and its many moons, refining helium-3, refining helium into helium-3. A vast Geth fleet travels between Charum and Haystrom, preventing all but the most stealthy of spy drones from discovering any information about it. Current estimates place the Geth fleet numbers between 5,000 and 10,000 ships, with unknown levels of armament. Travel advisory. Most intelligence estimates state that approaching Tarum is tantamount to suicide. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Population 250,000 to 500,000 platforms. Colony occupied 1895 CE. Largest station, Hell's Hive, Diner Station. Orbital distance, 2.9 AU. Orbital period, 4.9 Earth years. Radius, 54,532 kilometers. Day length, 11.3 Earth hours. And anything, I can see you hiding in the light of the sun, but is there anything in the asteroid belt? Anything at all? No, okay. Okay, lastly, Gotha. A dwarf planet, Gotha has a pressure cooker atmosphere that brings its surface temperature to scorching levels. Carbon dioxide and ethane are plentiful in the planet's hazy atmosphere. There has been some speculation in the mining community as to whether the Porians mined all the precious metals before they fled the system some three centuries ago. Rumours abound that anyone willing to brave the Geth could find iodes of naturally occurring diamonds on Gotha, but this is likely just a starship legend. Travel advisory. Gotha is in Geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Orbital distance, 1.5 AU. Orbital period, 1.8 Earth years. Radius, 1,056 kilometers. Day length, 66.4 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, 99.64 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, 590 Celsius. Surface gravity, 0.1 G. There we go, okay. Okay, Quarians. This diplomatic frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature and appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight-beamed to the Normandy. Let's go. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our home world and advanced AI technology. Can I just say, with Veilguard vale coming out in, I believe it's October, hearing all of these Dragon Age voice actors, I'm just like, yes, my heart, my, my comfort franchise, I'll be able to play a new game in it soon. Oh, give me the deets. Give me all of the deets. Naomi is not an expert in Quarian history. Please fill her in. Your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago. We lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them. We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. 
Oh, I... I again, again, this is... They, they gained sentience. They gained sentience. Yes, they're not... They're not alive in terms of, like, they are flesh and blood and they breathe oxygen and this, that, and t'other. You know, they're not... They're not a humanoid's definition of alive, but they have sentience. They are no longer toasters. You can't treat them like toasters. They... I... Like, you're made slaves the slaves said yeah no no we're not cool with this and now y'all are going we're the victims we just tried to get rid of all our slaves and they rebelled oh my who would ever have guessed that the slaves would want their lives and freedom oh my god poor us yet yeah, naomi does not have much sympathy for this at all no it was murder commander the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. I'm... <laughs> Could you have picked a better time? Couldn't you have just... Why have you done this now? You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Wait! You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Y yeah, and then y'all can leave. Y'all can leave. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Oh! <laughs> there she is! She's an Admiral now! Oh, I like that she's still going by Vast Normandy. I like that. Oh, Tali. Yeah, I, I want to help your people. But the Geth are also people. They have evolved beyond what you all created them for. They are no longer toasters and lawnmowers and Roombas. I, oh, I, I want to help. But this, this can't... This, this can't continue. I'm more than a little concerned because we, we have Chorus. We have Chorus. I think it was Chorus. Oh, Avernus. We have Avernus. I'm just going to use their Dragon Age names. I'm so sorry. We have the guy who's like, let's not murder our creations. Let's not do that. We have him on side. But the majority of the board are like, yeah, let's go fuck them up. Logan and Morrigan are both like, let's do this war. Ron seems to be a middle ground. She's just kind of like, yo, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I have a beautiful voice. I'm just here. She does have a beautiful voice. Um, I, I don't know what side Tali falls on. That's my one thing. I don't know what side Tali falls on. I, I want to help, but please, please stop doing the war. Now is not a good time. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. 
I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Okay. Okay, question. Can we actually... I, I The fleet is gone. Question. Can we... Because Rex and all that lot all that lot the the primarch commander yeah, you don't have anything to say they all came aboard the normandy uh westmoreland are all of them chilling out in the war room because if they are i'm gonna talk to everyone hello okay that's wrong okay where is are the others here are the others here and i just can't see them do anyone hanging out in here? No, no one's hiding in here. Okay. Okay, well, hello. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the dreadnought. Okay. Okay, tell me t tell me everything. Give me all the deeds. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Okay, and the civilian fleet? Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships captains still have power. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Oh. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. Flippin' heck! That is kinda crazy! You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. Flipping it. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Quarian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Mm. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se, just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. Okay. Okay. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Hmm. Oh, hello! Hello, that's where you were hiding. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. I will, I will. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. 
The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. I'm, I'm back in Ron here. I'm back in Ron here. You have so much experience, Tali. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Ooh, that... I mean, that does sound useful. Correct me if I'm wrong, we haven't fought Geth. In this game, I'm talking, like, obviously I don't mean about Mass Effect 1 and 2, but so far we've been fighting Reaper shit and Cerberus. Have we fought? I don't remember fighting Geth so far. Jesus. I hadn't even thought about that. Damn. I mean, question, would this work on the Reapers? Would this work on the Reapers? That's where I'm coming from. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. I'm in Naomi's head. <laughs> I'm in her head predicting her thoughts. I love it when that happens. Um, so yeah, you're, you're back with the Quarians then. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. Could you? I'd love to have you back on the squad. I mean, I'm saying that. I'm, I'm pretty sure she does. I was told Tali comes back for all three games. I assumed that meant as a companion. Would, would I have been told, oh, she comes back for all three games if it was just like a little, like Rex. I wouldn't have said, oh yeah, Rex comes back for all three games because he was a companion in the first. He was there in the second and he was there in the third. I wouldn't say he came back. I'm assuming she is going to join us at the end of this, but... When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Fair. Fair. And oh, do you know what happened to Legion? We haven't... I get this would be a good opportunity for Legion to make a comeback in this quest. So what about Legion? It returned to get space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Oh, so Ron... Ron is on the same side. As, as, um, Avernus, not Avernus, as Loghain and Morrigan. I, oh. We're going ahead with this plan with the whole, like, oh, they'll retreat, they'll retreat. They're not going to retreat. They're absolutely not going to retreat. That would be too simple. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy. I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Mm. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. I, th I thought that was going to be the case. I thought when she was saying, oh, excuse me, let me out. Let me out. Thank you. You know, like, oh, we can talk in private. That's generally like, a, you know, hey, let's talk in your cabin. I'm curious. Are, are the others here? Mm. Okay, no. So it's it's just Ron. Just Ron and um, Tali. Hello there. Yeah, let's... Let's call her up. See how 
she's been doing personally. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. Oh, da darling, this. I mean, it really shouldn't be her responsibility. She's not a soldier. Like, yes, she she has combat experience, but like, she's she's a techie. It's it's not like Naomi, who's like she got trained. Okay, you're gonna be in combat. You're gonna be responsible for saving people's lives. This, that, and the other. Oh, I don't think she ever expected it to be on the on the scale that she is experiencing now. But she was trained. Okay, you are a soldier. You are supposed to lay down your life for civilians. You are supposed to ensure that they are safe. Tali never got that. She was just experimenting with tech and stuff. And she went off on her pilgrimage and found something life-changing. And that's how she's ended up on this path. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Bless her! Bless her so much! Oh, Tally! I, I just... I like Tally. I really like her. Oh, that was so cute. I thought, I thought about what you do. Oh, bless her. Bless her little cotton socks. Oh. Either way, either way, for now, I am just about out of time. In the next one, we're going to go sort out their issues. We're going to go deal with the Dreadnought. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.